Hi everyone, my name is Ryan Jones. I'm the creator of Quantum Charts and today I'm going to spend the next few minutes giving you a quick overview of the power of Quantum Charts. Now the purpose of Quantum Charts is to allow you to easily create and backtest custom trading systems, patterns, and or ideas without programming a single word of code. There is no other tool like this on the market. Uh, and I'm going to quickly go over some uh, some of the functionality of this. Uh, there is no other program like it on the market. In fact, there are several functions that we're going to look at that are patent pending functions. But what I have here on the on the uh, screen are uh, three screenshots, and this really summarizes how quickly and how easily it is to find profitable trading opportunities through quantum charts. The process is you click on a bar. Quantum Charts provides conditions that are true for that bar. You drag and drop those conditions into our strategy box, and then you click Run. And statistics, market movement statistics, are provided to you instantaneously. So I'm going to be going over these steps. That's literally how easy it is to find and create uh, profitable trading strategies. Okay, so uh, step one, uh, we click on a price bar. Now you'll notice I have two moving averages on this chart. I click on this particular price bar. It provides me a list of conditions that, uh, with regard to anything that might be on the chart. As you can see, it has an 8-bar moving average, a 40-bar moving average, then it has the S&P uh, daily bar, which uh, is our, uh, the price action conditions. Now I can create, price a I can create and look at uh, conditions that exist for that particular bar with regard to any relationship on the chart. So for example, if I want to look at an 8 bar moving average in relation to the price action, I just click on the value uh, in box 1 and the price action in box 2 and it gives me the conditions based on that combination. So here is an 8 bar moving average value is less than the, SM, the uh, open of that particular bar. And it gives me some other conditions that are true with regard to that relationship as well. Um, here I've looked at a relationship between the 8-bar moving average and the 40-bar moving average. And on this particular uh, example, uh, one of the conditions that are true with re this relationship is that the 8-bar values remain less than the 40-bar value for 31 consecutive bars. Okay, so um, I can have as many indicators on there as I want and look at as many relationships as I want, and it's going to show me the true conditions with whatever it is that I click on. Very, very powerful process here. Step two is you take those conditions and you drag and drop them into the strategy module, whichever ones that you're wanting to uh, uh, to look at. Now here I have a two bar pattern that I've created in the strategy box. Uh, the first one, uh, group one, looks at the first bar conditions that I'm requiring. So on the first bar of the pattern I'm only requiring that the close is greater than the previous high, which is this light gray bar right here. Then for the second bar I put into group 2 and uh, for this one I'm looking for an inside range bar. So uh, this is an inside range bar followed following a close where that is higher than the previous high. So an inside range bar means the high is less than the previous high and the low is greater than the previous low. And I'm also referencing a moving average condition which in relation to the high of that bar and I'm simply saying that the 40 bar moving average is greater than the high of this bar. So I put that condition in there. So here is a two bar pattern using four conditions and it literally took me only 30 seconds to drag and drop these conditions into the strategy module. So uh, very, very quickly, I'm able to create a pattern here. Once I've created a pattern, uh, I go to step three, which is to click on Run. And instantaneously, some market movement statistics are provided to me with regard to that pattern. Now, market movement stats are, again, exclusive to quantum charts. I actually wrote on market movement analysis about, well, it was back in 1995 in a newsletter, and talked about the importance of, of knowing the market movement after a pattern as opposed to just throwing on an exit rule. So I'm just quickly going to show you uh, a couple of very, very powerful benefits associated with uh, having these stats in front of you. Um, bar 1 
is one bar after the close of the occurrence. Bar 2 is two bars after the close of the occurrence. Bar 3 is referencing three bars, etc., etc. I only show 10 here, but uh, through quantum charts it goes all the way out to 30. Uh, so you can look at um, what happened in the market. Now, bar 1, we see that 71% of the time the market was less than, the close was less than, the close of the occurrence bar of that pattern. 71% of the time by an average of nine and a half points. 29% of the time, the close of bar one was greater than the occurrence bar of this pattern by an average of only six points. So immediately what we see is we see we have a selling opportunity here. Now, if you'll notice that by, by uh, bar four, 54% of the time, the market is above the occurrence bar so it literally reverses although this is more neutral than it is bullish it nonetheless is certainly not bearish anymore so what does this tell me it tells me a I have a very solid selling opportunity and B it's a very short-term selling opportunity at most three bars I don't want to hold on for more than three bars um, and the only reason I might consider that is because uh, the average move down is 22 points versus the average move up of only 11 points. So there is some solid profit potential here uh, by holding on more than one bar, about twice, a little more than, than double the profit potential if I only hold on for one bar. So um, very, very powerful information. And just like that, I, because of these, this information, I can go on step four and I can accurately apply the proper exit strategy to this particular opportunity because I know it's A, a sell, and B, it's a very short-term sell. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply uh, exit on the close of the entry bar, and I'm going to drag and drop that in here. I don't have to, I don't have to find anything. Um, I don't have to code anything. I don't have to learn any syntax. Um, I just simply drag and drop it into the box. Now, if I wanted to have other conditions, if I wanted to create a pattern to exit by so that I'm, I'm now short the market and once it finds another particular pattern then I can put those conditions and create another pattern um, for the exit rule so very very versatile in what this allows me to do very very quickly very very easily without any programming knowledge whatsoever and then step five is once I've put an, uh, an exit rule on there or rules or however um, I click on the performance report and um, instant, instantly I'm given a trade performance report. This particular one, uh, the example here is uh, based on February of 2000 through uh, November of 2008. So it's a, it's a sample of the data that we looked at uh, previously, and uh, which was going back all the way to 1982. So um, nonetheless, total net profit 66000 the percentage, the winning percentage held up at 65%. The drawdown was only 5,500. This is trading one full S&P contract. Uh, gives you some drawdown statistics. Very, very, very powerful information from uh, beginning to finish in two minutes without programming a single word. I have just created a two-bar pattern implementing a moving average filter and, uh, and generated the performance stats just like that. Uh, very powerful program. Now there are some other uh, some other quality uh, capabilities that are available with quantum charts uh, that I was not able to go over in in a lot of detail, or maybe I even missed it. Uh, so I'm just going to run through these real quick, just to just to put them in your mind. There are going to be more videos that go over this on a more uh, thorough basis. Uh, we've already seen the dynamic condition generator where you can combine you know, relationships of two different indicators, for example, to look at those conditions. Um, I didn't show you that you can customize these conditions. Uh, here's a 40-bar moving average. I click on the 40-bar moving average once it's in the strategy box. I go to my properties box, and I can change any aspect of that condition. I don't have to go and find another bar that happens to have the exact condition that I'm looking for. I can get a, a general condition and then I can change the parameters of it through my properties box. I can also create multiple market systems. So you'll notice here I threw in a condition. It's not S&P daily, it's US daily. That's the bond market. So I am now referencing a 40 bar moving average 
from the bond market to trade in the S&P. I can add as many conditions from as many different markets as I want um, to trade one market. Uh, or I can apply it to however many markets I want to uh, apply it to. Um, you'll notice also that the S&P has a little daily here beside it. Well, I could change that. I could get a condition from a 5-minute bar, and that'll show me S&P 5-minute. And it will reference the 5-minute bar. I can combine a 1-minute uh, condition with a 10-minute condition and create a multi-time frame uh, based system very, very easily. Um, I can combine uh, as many markets as I want uh, and add it. Uh, add a system to as many markets as I want, or I can combine as many systems as I want to one market. So I can create uh, portfolios. The intraday data is downloaded on a daily basis, uh, and that does come with the, the subscription to Quantum Charts. And very soon we will also be offering real time data feed uh, into Quantum Charts as well. So that's just a very brief overview of some of the main functionality and features of what you can do with Quantum Charts. Um, I'm, I'm quite positive you can see the value in this. Uh, there's going to be more videos in the near future. We're going to be uh, releasing in the near future. Uh, I hope you uh, keep up to date, and I hope you're as excited about this as I am. Thanks for your time.